All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I've uh, I've been uh, I've been a little bit late to this. I realize that, but the Porsche pack is out. I do have the Porsche pack, and in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and do the very first set of Force of Thunder events um, that are pretty much just focused on Porsche. So this is where we are now. We got seven cars in the car pack. I'll show you guys real quick exactly what we got here. Uh, got all car packs, Porsche pack. We got a Panamera Turbo. Uh, 911 GT3 RS, we got a Cayman GT4, a 911 GT2, we got a 911 Carrera RS, which is what I'm driving right now, by the way. Um, I got a 718 RS, 60, and a 550 Spider, and that's pretty much it. Those are all the cars in the push factor, seven cars. It was, uh, I think, about seven euro, and that's pretty much it. Now, you may be wondering, that's not really that many Porsches for a Porsche pack, and you are correct, but this is where... Forzathon comes in and uh, they're gonna continue to give us I think an extra four cars with these events So as you can see with the bucket buffet we complete five bucket list challenges and we get the Porsche 911 GT3 RS 4.0 I'm thinking if I remember correctly. This is like a 2011 2012 model uh, 911 So I think it's a 997 if I remember correctly I'm trying to I'm trying to remember I think it's a 997 the facelift one so this is pretty much where we are now with the uh, with the Forza Sun events, so I'm gonna go ahead and do these. These are uh, these coming kind of just interesting. I have to complete three matches of kink to get three wheel spins. Eh, don't really want to do that too much here, but what I'm really focused on is trying to get myself the 911 GT3 RS, and that is pretty much it. And also, there's a 30% off everything in the auto show, which is pretty mad. So I can uh, possibly get some decent cars. I have about three million credits right now to do that. So, what I'm gonna do here is, uh, like it says in the Forza Town events, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my 911. So, I have to complete five bucket list challenges. I've already completed all of them, so this is gonna be kind of interesting. Will they still count? That is that is the question. It should still count. I don't see why it shouldn't count. Um, let's just go to this one. I think uh, this is like the closest one. I don't think it matters too much which one I decide to choose to do. But let's just go ahead and do this one. I'll try get it, and uh, I'll try also make uh, some more videos on the Porsche pack. Uh, I do realize that I was kind of late to this, and the Porsche pack came out a few days ago. But I was actually kind of busy with work, believe it or not. I do actually have a job. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this little Carrera here that I'm driving is not really stock, not even close. Uh, but it's uh, it's st it still looks classic. I didn't want to change anything exterior-wise to to the looks of this thing. Watch the circle up in the FVV Pursuit Ute. Where am I going with this thing? I can't remember half of these, um, half of these, uh, bucket list challenges. I've completed, like, all of them. Oh, I have to do, oh, I have to do a dangerous sign jump. Alright, so I have to beat 400. I have to beat 400 yards also. Or 400 feet, not 400 yards. There we go. I was kind of trying to turn my radio off. Alright, let's have a look here. So, 400 feet. It should be pretty easy to do. Is this a road or a trail? I think it's just a trail. It is a trail. I should actually, like, do a tune on this thing because I really like the use in this game. Well, I just like use overall, I'd, but I kind of really want to do a, a drift tune on, on one of them in this game, especially because we have the... Uh, we have the uh, Horizon Edition of this car that I'm driving. I could probably do a pretty badass tune to it. Okay, can I land this? Okay, 428. You made it, completed it, success. So I'm guessing I should have to do four more and that's pretty much it. I hope it counts. I really do hope it counts. If I get screwed over right now, because I've completed like everything in this game, if I get screwed over uh, and I don't get it, that'll be a disaster. Also, there is a new barn find as well, if I remember correctly. Um, let me check it out, see here, real quick. If I go to progress, the barn finds should be at uh, Discovery, Barn Finds, Barn Finds, Barn Finds, where is it? Yeah, Barn Finds, 19 out of 20, so there should be, I'm guessing, a, sp a Porsche-specific Barn Find. Uh, it hasn't popped up yet, so I don't think it's available yet. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be part of another, um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be part of another, uh, uh, like, Forzathon event, where, like, you can get the thing to appear on a map, which is pretty interesting. I'm definitely trying to, uh, to get that done as well. I really like this Porsche. I like this Porsche so much right now. Uh, also, I think this is, yeah, it is behind me. And if I remember correctly, this is the aerial that I have to do this thing with, the aerial nomad. Yes, of course it's completed. Um, so that's two. I don't really know what other ones I can do. Let's do the rainforest in the aerial nomad. 
Yeah, I don't remember any of these. I, I really don't. I've completed these within like, maybe like an hour. I finished literally all of them. So I don't remember any of these. I feel like I should have sort of spent a little bit more time paying attention to what I was doing when I was doing these, uh, but I was like grinding so hard. I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to cut through all this shit. There's no point. That's the whole point of this thing. To go off-roading. Definitely not going to keep this on the road. This is mad. I'd love one of these in real life. Oh my god. Could you imagine how fun this thing would be? And how capable this thing is for off-roading. Oh my god. Alright. Well, I cut about a minute off, I'm, I'm gonna say. From my, uh... Oh, god. Okay, careful here. I'm actually gonna send a trail this time because there's a big drop off to the left. Oh, looks like I'm going down it. There we go. Alright. Is there, like, a faster... Faster ones to do this with. Also, I feel like these Porsche packs are kind of getting a little bit stale here. So, uh, now that they've signed, uh, also if you guys didn't know, Porsche pretty much signed a deal. I think they've uh, they've just opened up their their thing, their like contract now because I don't think they're like partnered with EA anymore, um, which they used to be. But um, yeah, now that I don't think they're partnered with EA anymore. Um, They've gotten contracts left, right, and center. Like, we're getting Porsche packs for Assetto Corsa. We're getting Porsche content coming into Forza. A lot more a lot more Porsche content coming into Forza. And um, we're going to get Porsche coming into Gran Turismo Sport as well. If you guys didn't know that, uh, Porsche is coming to Gran Turismo Sport. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Also, for the people wondering, people watching the video right now, wondering, I've seen people ask me questions in the past. Am I going to get Gran Turismo Sport? Will I make videos on it? When it comes out, yes, and yes, I will. Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell happened there? Okay, careful here. Careful with the stern. I'm gonna slow down quite a bit here. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, I will end up getting it. I don't have a PlayStation 4 right now. I literally have no use for a PlayStation 4 at the moment. Um, if I was to get it, like, I don't know. I was honestly gonna try. I was, I was thinking about getting one just so I can play the the beta, but I wasn't sure if I was going to get it, so then there was just going to be like no point in me getting a PlayStation at the moment. But um, I will 100% get a PlayStation and play Gran Turismo Sport when it comes out. 100%. And I'll make videos on it as well. Um, I'll also try to see if I can get my hands on a wheel for it. Kind of sucks that I can't use the wheel that I have now because I love this wheel. It's actually really, really good, but it kind of sucks that I can't use it. But I'll try to see what I can do and maybe get my hands on a wheel for... Uh, for the PlayStation as well, because I know for a fact that uh, Gran Turismo Sport is going to be a lot more enjoyable playing with a wheel. Now this this game here, Horizon, is very arcadey. That's why I'm not really bothered with a wheel on this game. Um, I know you can change to like sim settings and stuff like that, but like I'm still not really bothered with a wheel on Forza. It's it's not very good. Um, I have played Gran Turismo with a wheel. It's actually very interesting to play with a wheel. It's I feel it's like it's it's very similar to Forza. I'll say. Um, but it has, like, it's been so long since I've played it, I know it's not the exact same as, as playing Forza with a wheel. I feel like Forza is just, it, it's weird, to be honest, on a wheel. Um, you don't have that mad feedback that you, that you get on the PC. That you, you definitely don't. And what I mean by the PC, I mean, like, PC games. Uh, like Assetto Corsa, for example, which is a game that I always play on the wheel. Um, uh, it's... It's, it's a big difference. It's a big, big difference. If you have both games and you play one, or even Project Cars, actually. Like, Project Cars is, is actually pretty insane on the wheel, to be honest. It's a, it's it's very, very good. Um, like, as much shit as they gave Project Cars, the game was made to be a simulator, and it's 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 very, very close. The only reason why I didn't like Project Cars is because it was very buggy. It's, it's very, very buggy. It had it had its problems, but um, driving-wise, it was, it was very, very good on the wheel. Very good. Third time's the charm. There we go. I barely did 80. Jesus. That was, uh, that was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> All right. We got two more to do. Two more. And then we get this uh, this GT3 RS. I'm actually going to have a look and see what the prices are in the auction house. Because I think they're going to go for quite a lot at the beginning here. Actually, I don't really know. Because everybody's going to have a chance to get it. But only the... See, I don't know. I honestly don't know if you can even sell that thing. Alright, I'm in an MG Metro. Let's do this thing. 30,000 skill points. Let's go.
That's a pretty good jump. Not bad, not bad. I don't think I have to do a... S yeah, I don't think it's, uh, it's supposed to be... I think... Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have to, like, do it, like, just in the one skill chain. So if I do that, I think I'm done. Am I? I can't tell. I think it should stop, shouldn't it? Whatever I'm actually done. Nah, I should be done now. So if this, uh, this adds on, it's easily done. Come on. Come on. Finish up. There we go. Cool. Number four completed. Let's go to the next one. Alright, so I popped up my uh, my little achievements up on the screen. I kind of like that. And it shows you a little bar to see how how much you've gone through. Um, so, the Bucket Buffet one is very, very close to finishing. I want to do the hopping thing, whatever the hell that, the second one is. Uh, I just have to do, like, what is it, like, kangaroo skills or something like that? Uh, which I'm pretty sure is just I have to do like two jumps one after another or something like that or three of them one after another What am I doing here? I just have to race to the zone is it race to the destination? Yep, that is it Very interesting very interesting car choice as well All right, this is fast This is fast we go. On the road. I like this. I like this. I thought this was going to be a lot heavier, more boat-like, but it's actually not that bad. I don't think I've driven one of these yet in this game. It changes gears very quickly as well. How many gears does it have? Eight. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, I'm not disappointed with the speed of this thing. Literally the goal for today's video is getting that GT3 RS. That's it. That is it. I don't think you can do much to it though. But it is part of the Forza Dawn event and maybe... Maybe, just maybe, we can do some stuff to it. But I doubt it. However, they did introduce something kind of cool and it... Okay, well, that's a tree. Come on. They did introduce something cool with the uh, body kits and stuff like that, so I'll show you guys that in another video. Well, you guys probably have seen it anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'll just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you now because you guys have probably seen it in other videos. There is a RWB kit. There is an RWB kit for the 993, if I remember correctly. So you can white body that, that Porsche like mad. And it looks very, very good. It looks very good. I definitely want to make a video on that. Alright. We're about two minutes in. We have about two miles to go. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's so quiet. I'm doing like 120, 130, 140 miles an hour. And it's getting sideways. And I'm tapping everything with my ass. But... It's, uh, it's pretty quiet. I mean, it, it is a big-ass refined Rolls-Royce, but... It's mad. It's mad how quiet this is. It does kind of feel a little bit like a boat. It does lean a lot. But, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's, uh, it's actually quite sporty. And that's it. That is it. Those are five different... I don't know if I have to complete five different ones, but... There we go. I got that done. Let's go ahead and actually drive this thing. I want to see what it's like. I want to see what this thing is like. Um, I still have to do that hopping thing. So, apparently that has gone up by a little bit. I don't really know what to do there. It's just kangaroo challenges. So, that's going to be kind of easy. Um, what else? I'm just going to turn that off. Just so it's not annoying or in the way. 911 GT3 RS 4.0. I don't think you can do much to this thing. Visually, anyway, which is what I'm kind of looking for. I think you can take off the wing, if I remember correctly. I don't know if you were able to do that before. 
with the previous forces. But from any videos that I've seen, I think you can take off the wing. Again, I'm not entirely sure. But let's have a look here. Anything to do with the conversion, we can uh, do a drive train swap if we really want that. And uh, we can turbo it. We can twin turbo it. Mad. That's going to be really fast. Uh, front end, just a typical Forza. And rear end, it's just a... Yeah, we can't remove the wing. Never mind. That's a much nicer wing anyway. This is sick. I love this 4.0. This 4.0 is really, really cool. If I remember correctly, also, this is a manual. It is a manual. Not the PDK. Sick. So sick. I used to never be, like, a huge fan of Porsche, to be honest. Um, but then, for some reason, I just kind of decided I was. I don't know why. It just... I, I kind of felt like a... I kind of felt like they were doing a good job. Jesus, this thing revs high. This thing revs really high. Almost, almost, almost taken to that 9,000 RPM. Very close. It's also very fast. Stock. Now imagine this thing being twin turbo. Doesn't handle half bad either. I can't wait for the 918. I want to see how that what that thing handles like. That's gonna be a really good addition to the game. I mean, the 918 was also like a very good addition to Forza 6 as well. But and I think it was in a, I think it was in a Horizon 2 as well. It's fast. It's 200 miles an hour fast. Don't think I'll comp I'll beat it on this road though. But it's fast. It handles really well as well. I don't have to do a lot of uh, steering, and it just turns in very quickly. And precisely. A little bit of understeer there. I just want to see what it was like. But then again, I was going 100 and something miles an hour. And this isn't really crazy, crazy aerodynamic. But it is It is a very good car. And like I said, on the stock tune, it is not too bad. Well... That's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys very much. Whoa! Thank you guys very much for watching. I just wanted to uh, sort of have a look at the new car that we got today. Which is this. Well, it's not really today because it was a few days ago, but you guys get what I mean. I'll uh, race this, uh, what is this thing? An S7? Let's race this S7 and uh, smash it. I don't know why they made him turn over there, but... Sorry. Go, 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 go. Come on. This is ahead of me. I don't like that. Oh, I like the sound of this, though. Move, guys. Damn, it is good. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose this race. I lost. Where's the finish line? I did lose. God damn it, game. It puts it on a straight line and makes me have, have to turn. Piece of shit. <laughs> Look at all the cars here. Oh my god. Alright, this is pretty legit. I like this thing. Oh god. Well, can't really avoid that. Well, now that I'm stuck in a midget tree, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video of the Forzathon Porsche added into the game. Um, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I'm, I'm digging the Porsche pack. I don't know when we're going to get the car pack as well. Or, sorry, not the car pack, but the expansion pass. Expansion. I'm so confused. Like, there's so many words that I have to say. <laughs> it just destroys my brain. We're gonna be getting a new expansion. A new map expansion. I don't know when that's gonna be. But it should be soon. I thought it was gonna be this month. I think a lot of people thought it was gonna be this month. Especially since we didn't get a, like, a care pack at the start of the month. As we usually do. Um, but it didn't happen. Why does this Merc indicate left and then turn right? Either way. That's going to be it. Thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.